What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a brand new product review. That's 2019-20 Panini Mosaic Basketball T-Mall. So Mosaic actually released earlier in the year. Then randomly Panini's like, hey, let's make a T-Mall. And here we go. We have it now. So a lot of products got the T-Mall treatment or the lucky envelope treatment. And uh, these are exclusive to the T-Mall platform in Asia. So, or also Asia exclusive as we sometimes call them. And uh, 12 packs, five cars per pack. So pretty nice. Definitely excited. I've heard some good things. People say... On average, they're getting like 10 red waves and you know, two gold waves, sometimes some silvers in there uh, per box, which is actually pretty good. There's no guaranteed autograph like the uh, the hobby one, and there aren't you know, all the number parallels. So it's kind of like the middle between a retail box and a hobby box of Mosaic. So let's move our handy dandy top loaders, helping stand up our, our box there. I don't know. It looks better. I think it's worth doing, <laughs> but a lot of cool stuff. So, uh, red waves, gold wave prism. Now this box is a, as we call a sledding box. If you're ever in our live streams on Pac-Man breaks, um, sub to that channel, check it out if you haven't already, where we break tons of boxes. I mean, just a crazy mountain group break format, but, uh, this is a sledding box as you can see. So I'm hopefully hoping the cards aren't damaged. Um, here's everything you can find and I'll get that one more look for that in a bit, but, um, you know, for autos from the top stars and let's uh, open this box in the background. We got Barrett and reddish one of one and galactic. Love those. Maybe they can have a big year. People might be sleeping on them. You don't know. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell to be notified every time I post. Also, like, comment, share. The likes and all the comments, all the stuff, all the subs really help us out. The support you guys have shown has been awesome lately. And you've been growing like crazy. So, much love. Really appreciate it. And, yeah. Also, uh, join our Discord if you haven't already. As well as uh, follow us on Twitch. So, let's see if the cards are damaged. Hopefully, they're not. So let's follow us on Twitch where uh, we have all sorts of stuff going on. Links are all in the description and also check our Instagram right there. Unplugging. So my main concern when I got this box was are any of these cards damaged, right? Because that is a sledding box. So, And sledding just means that the box has been crushed. So as you can see, the oh wait, the packs that concern us, yeah, we got one back here, is this one. And I'd probably say like these two in that order. And maybe this one after that. So we're going to rip through, starting with these four. And then let's go through the rest of the box and see if they're, they're damaged. You know, sometimes boxes can be crushed. If the box itself is crushed, you know, sometimes people might be a little less reluctant to buy it in case the cards are damaged. Um, plenty of times I've gotten a crushed box and the cards are completely fine. So we'll find out right now. And if they are damaged, then they're, then they're damaged. Uh, hope, hopefully they're not, though. But these, you know, come from Asia, so they have to... Travel a long way, but the resale for these is, I believe, maybe mid $400 range. So, yeah, I would say it's about on par with what I'd expect. Uh, I don't know how that is compared to the value of these boxes. We'll find out right now, but yeah, let's see how these cards look. We've seen Mosaic already, so let's take a look at the cards. And we have a gold wave already. And also the SRP, I'd probably say, is around the 100 range. I really don't know for this one. They don't. I can't always find all the information for beforehand, but there's Mosaic base. I'm closely looking at the condition of these cards because once again that box being crushed is a not a good thing. We have a gold wave here. I'll pull this one, Shaq Hall of Fame. And we'll take a closer look at those the condition of those in a second. And I think that would be the name. It's not a rookie. Oh my goodness, a Luka Doncic gold wave. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Boom. That is a big card. Please. Oh, please. God, let it be. Oh, it does have a little bit of a a print line. That would not be from the, the damage to the box. That would not be uh that would just be a factory defect, which you know, I could probably send it back to Panini and hopefully they replace it. But wow, that's a big pull. That's a boom right there. Luca. Now I'm looking closely at the corners, the edges, and um, I don't see any damage on this card that would make me believe that the damage to the box led the card to be damaged. So I'm going to go ahead and say the damage didn't affect any of the cards yet, but we'll find out as we go. And fingers crossed that we don't randomly have a crazy dented card, but wow, that's an awesome card. And then we'll take a look at the shack, which was one of the back ones. Uh, this one, as you can see right there in the top left, the corner is a little, a little softer. I don't, I don't think that's a big issue. I'm not going to you know, lose my mind over damage that card. And then there's this Rivers here, which looks fine. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the box um, B 
being damaged in this case wasn't really a problem. And if, once again, if you're not interested in this, please, please, I beg to you skip ahead because I'm sure you're just like, what the heck's going on? Um, but yeah, not very often you get you know, completely crushed boxes like that. So seeing how that kind of damage to a box, which some people have brought up to me, uh, can affect the cards is pretty interesting. It's not, I'm not going to purposely crush a box just so I can do it. So whenever I have a chance, I'll definitely take a look at it. Uh, we got Alec Burks and Thaddeus Young, Red Wave. So right now we've gotten two parallels, two packs. Looks like whatever I heard before this is so far true. Carl Malone. It's only with these four packs I'm really going to be looking at like this because those are the ones that are potentially in that spot where it could have been damaged. Um, that corner is a little bit messed there, but I'm really not going to lose my mind over a Thaddeus Young damage. And I don't wear gloves. I do have a microfiber cloth. That's why I used to clean them. So you'll see fingerprints, you will. And um, since it's my own personal break, I'm leaving my thumb there for like 10 seconds and it'll leave a mark. Uh, but I would just say, take a microfiber, give it a couple wipes and it's good. Um, most people who, you know, know who do a lot of this stuff you, you know that you don't need to wear gloves i mean it's pretty common knowledge from the people i i talk with all right let's see not a rookie evan fournier all right so when we got the luca i'm not going to com complain that it isn't evan fournier and a larry legend right there i love larry bird very nice larry bird legend has it he was good at basketball and put these guys here and here's these last few base cards and I, I hate to you know take so much of your time so once again if you don't want to see this go ahead and look forward but it's a it's a rare situation where i can actually inspect cards that came from a, a beat up box all right and then this is the last one we'll do it for and after that we are good another gold wave wow can this one be a rookie so it looks like uh i was what i heard was wrong in terms of the breakdown looks like it's Got some rookies in here. We got a another Larry Legend. Much respect. Love it. If you haven't seen our Immaculate Break, definitely check that out. Got the man himself and much more. And also, if you haven't already checked out the last two videos, Panini One Hall of Fame. Okay. We did um Kareem. But nice. We did a random hobby packs, which is a fan favorite one. And one of my personal favorites, as well as the box of Panini One, which was really good. So sweet to see. Um, nice. Gold Wave. Kareem. One thing I'll say about the last video, too, is when I made that video, you know, I don't look up the values while I'm doing it. I was like, yeah, it's a solid card. I think that card's worth much more than I thought it was, which is why, like, at the time in the video, I'm just like, nice. I don't know how we did, but nice. But I, it's 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 going for some good good money, which I'm happy to see. All right. If you're interested in it, no, definitely feel free to hit me up. We can work a deal out. So the Blake Griffin has a little bit of a corner ding, but once again, I'm not going to you know, lose my mind over a Blake Griffin base card. So now let's start to fly through. I think we're, I want to say we're good. I'll take a look at the cards my own time after, but oof, and there we go. And yeah, just the base cards, nothing too crazy. All right. Hall of Fame again. We got a uh, Scotty Pippen, Red Wave. And Kevin Porter Jr. is so our first rookie sighting right there. Not very rookie heavy, maybe. Next one up. So far, I'm liking this a lot, man. <laughs> maybe because I got a really good card, but still, liking it a lot. Marcus Saul, Mr. Big Spain. With the Lakers now. Seth Curry now a sixer. Troy Brown Jr. still a wizard, I believe. No rookies, man. But there you go, Marcus Saul again, the Marcus Saul pack. And Nikhil. All right, next one up. Autos won't be very common. I would say autographs are... More often than not, you won't get an autograph. Team Mall isn't very auto-heavy. So if you're like, where's my autos at? I wouldn't expect them. You're mainly looking for these parallels. And, um, yeah, the parallels. Got a rookie. It's green. It's got to be the GOAT. Oh, no, it's Grant. It's Grant. And uh, Rui. Very nice. Very nice red wave grant. And real quick for you guys, there's the back of the box. So once again, silver is mosaic, um, red wave and gold wave. So just the basic parallels plus the exclusives and the autos. I'll keep going. So far, so good. Although I don't know if they'll give us much more than the... Once you, give, you get a Luka like that, sometimes there's like 
and rightfully so. Like there you go. Now you're set. George Paul sighting. Here we go. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Oh, it did work. Oh, it did work. Goaty and Bogey. Very nice. And for those of you wondering, yes, I actually do like uh, Goatmont and Paul George. It just looked out fun. So call him George Paul. You guys, are, some people was like, what? Did you say George Paul? We do say George Paul. That's a joke. And um, our rookie of the year, Tremont Waters, is Goatmont. Okay. This could be a rook. This could be a rook. No, it can't. Frank Nilakina. Okay. See, it's really nice when you secure that that big parallel early on. Because then after that, you know, you get a Nilakina, you're just like, okay, you know, it's, it's fair. And we have a few packs left. Let's see what we can close this out on. But, I mean, a parallel in every pack. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. I think a lot of people were very excited for this product when they saw it uh, early on, knowing that you get parallels pretty frequently. Tavius Caldwell Pope, wish I was a Braun. And uh, another Laker, Horton Tucker. Should be the last pack. Oh no, it's two more packs, two more packs. Okay, second to last pack. Let's see what we can get. Rookie, wave, please. We got a Grant though. I keep forgetting the Grant. And uh, yeah, if you get a box for yourself, I would imagine these packs would be kind of more of the same, just a lot of parallels. Well, Marcus Aldridge for the Spurs. And a uh, net Claxton. Oh, yeah, he's going down. He's going down. I couldn't do anything about it. This should be the last pack. I'll check the box one more time. Could be missing one. Could be hiding down there. And wish us luck. We already got three golds. So now we're just looking for that. That maybe one last top vet or rookie red wave. NBA debut. So this one's a rookie. The wrong Pelly Melly. <sighs> or should we say the right Pelly Melly? Maybe he's going to be a great player. Who knows? Jarrett Culver and uh, Nicole Melly. Let's check this box one more time. I think I got all of them. Yes, there we go. The big concern was this damage here. Looks like the packs thankfully avoided that box getting crushed. And let's recap. So, I mean, this is just the inserts and two Larry Legends, Malone and Shaq. I love Shaq. Shaq's one of my favorites ever. And Larry Bird, too, actually. And then let's uh, see what we got in here. And I'm definitely happy with what we got. We got the uh, Melly, Culver, Marcus. So, we, I mean, 12 parallels. We didn't get any silvers or the regular mosaics. We got all waves, one per pack, which is pretty good. Goatmont got the Grant Red Wave. So one rookie there. Got Nikhil, Scotty. And then here's where we got gold waves. And the golds were popping out at the beginning, highlighted by one really big one. We got Kareem. Awesome. Got Fournier. Oh, we got one more. Gold. I uh, read Thaddeus Young. And then the monster, Luka Doncic. Wow. Anything Luka is red hot, especially a gold wave of him. That's cool. Really, really cool. Cool. See, I wish I don't have a great vocabulary. You know, all I say is cool. But I mean, this is a stunning card. And um, once again, there was a little, you know, line going down there, as you can see right there. And there were, I think I saw two dimples like right here. Um, maybe it can be replaced. Maybe not, who knows, but that does it for this one. So if you're interested for in a, getting a box for yourself, I would expect uh, maybe roughly somewhat like this breakdown, maybe one gold wave and the rest are, you know, mosaics and red waves, or maybe, you know, three, four gold waves and the rest are the other parallels. But overall, you're definitely looking for the parallels. You can get an autograph. That would be a bonus, in my opinion. You wouldn't get those too often. And uh, I'm not too sure how deep or, you know, how quality that, that signing list is. At least for optic, it wasn't the best, but uh, it could be better for mosaic. And uh, I would expect Panini to make a lot more products like this one. And, you know, that includes probably next year's Prism, probably Optic again, like we saw this year. So stay tuned for a lot of it, a lot of these. And I always try to break one on my channel and I'll include some in uh, group breaks too. So stay tuned for that. Awesome stuff. I should have some breaks live on the site uh, today, maybe a couple hours from now in the evening or night. And um, yeah, PacmanSportsCards.com. And that's it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. Overall, I'd say this product, I'd give an 8 out of 10. A lot of good parallels. I wish it was a little cheaper. I think the price might go down a little bit but um overall you get a lot of stuff and i'm happy they load us up with uh, luca here so thanks for watching guys good luck on all your rips like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later